Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? We're back with another review, another recap, and another video. Uh, what? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. <sighs> Season 3, Episode 6 of Black Ink Crew. Rikers or Rehab? What decision will you take to make your life better? <laughs> Now let's get into this episode. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to talk about, but it really wasn't a lot in this episode, basically because of the decisions between mm. old shit and what he need, needed to make. So, we're going to get into this recap. It may not be too long. I don't have a lot to say about this episode, but some words for old shit towards the end. So, with that being said, we're going to get into this review in this episode and get into it. Everyone finding out about that Ink One Two Four is not owned by Puma. It's owned by some dude named Brent, and Brent was a um owner, and basically a person who owns a lot of things in a landmark in around Staten Island in New York, wherever that wherever Black Ink and Seas and then Puma and them was from. And Puma been working for Brent, cleaning and scrubbing, basically was a janitor and. When met when he met Steve, Steve brought a new lifestyle to him and things of that nature. And now he's putting on this whole persona that he owns something. And he's the boss. And he's boss status. He's big and bad. And come to find out, he don't even own Ink One Two Four. So I'm like, okay, what's the real tea? What's really going on with this situation? Oh, she goes to see his PO. Now, what I'm not understanding is, you know the rules and regulations. When you're going to see your PO. You know that you're not supposed to be smoking weed, you're not supposed to be doing drugs or whatever. But old shit still has not seemed to get it right in his life. He still is childish, he still has a childlike mentality, he's still selfish, he's still stupid, he's still ignorant. I just don't know what it would take for him to get it right. You have people in your corner who care about you, you got kids who's depending on you, you have a career and and you have a wife, and you still can't get it right, like, I, I'm not even going to give you the energy right now so you can go in, but I just hope and pray that you get it right, you get it together, and you choose the right choice to either go to jail and be another statistic of a black African American male, or you go to rehab, and Fix your life, fix your problems, come to the root of it, marry Anya, take care of your kids, and have a damn career. Have, have something going for yourself and stop ruining your life. They go to take the pee test, and first of all, he comes to the pee oh, late as hell, and they, they are really pissed off that he's late. And then you're gonna come there and lie, too. And then your pee is, your pee, you fail your pee test? So, and that, you know, they make the decision like, okay, mm hmm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to cuff your ass up and we're going to send you the right advice because I'm tired of putting over the bullshit. I'm tired of you coming here late. Last time you came here, you came here, we cracked. We got you off. Now you come in, you say your pieces, you come in late and you lie. I'm like, okay, oh, oh, I would, I would even gave him another chance. I'm sorry. His ass would have went to, I would have cuffed him up. He would have been in right this island and he would have been up for a very long period of time because Obviously, it's just not getting to his brain that he does not get it. And I really think that old shit has a few screws loose. I don't, really don't think he has it all. I really don't. But anyway, they call Anya. I'm going to finish the storyline. They call Anya. Anya didn't know that he even had crack on him the last time he seen his PO. And she didn't even know anything about the drug situation. So she's pissed off. She's crying. But they give him a decision. Rikers Island or Rehab. You make the choice. He made the choice to go to Rehab. So I hope that he did not just make that choice that he won't have to go to jail. I hope he makes this choice, take advantage of it, and get his stuff clean. Because addiction is nothing to play with. And obviously, he does not get that. He does not understand that. But anyway, Puma and Teddy talk about the situation at hand, how um, Jesus changed, how him and Dutch is back together, and how, you know, he feels that he's entitled to do this and that, and about the situation at hand. And I'm just sitting here like, whatever. Teddy talks to Steve. Steve is not liking the situation between Puma and Teddy. That's not want Teddy talks to him. Thing is that he doesn't. He's not loyal. He's tired of Steve. He's tired of Puma. He doesn't want anything to do with him. He does not want Steve. He don't even want Teddy even speaking to him. 
Katie's like, you know, you, I'm a grown ass man. Like, you can't tell me who to talk to and who to vibe with and things like that. And like, if you really think that me talking to Puma is fraudulent, then I really question what type of person he really is. He gets out and that's the that's situation that's 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 that family really was coming to uh, with and so I really want to know how that's going to play out but we will see when that situation takes place oh she talks to the girl he's been scoring and she's talking about um she's crying like I don't want to leave like he tells her that he's going to go to rehab she starts crying it's like me and, me and oh shit has a, a mental relationship and we have a very good bond and things of that nature and this and that like, it's more than a relationship so you spoon this man and you know this man is engaged what 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 type of new fan the hoe are you like you know this man have a whole fiance at home he has kids and you spoon him so uh, next week or whenever that situation is when you get that drink thrown in your face and hopefully it she threw the glass in your face or whatever it cussed you, whatever she did you deserve it because you know damn well that man has a and you should know you should have some type of um about you should have some type of respect about yourself to know not to speak to a man like oh shit anyway but anyway you deserve it and I'm, I'm just like i'm just not understanding no shit you telling her stuff that you're not even telling you're not even telling your soon to be white really so like I said before, everything that goes on in your life that is a toxic term, that is negativity, you brought it on yourself and you deserve it. Karma is a B-I-T-C-H. And she, and she don't cut corners for nobody. So, old shit is getting ready to go to rehab. His baby mama comes in here and told this kid to pay for bar. She supports him. It's like, do what you have to do. Go change your life. Make a change. And we will be here when you get back. Old shit goes and makes life change. She hops in the car. Back and takes the steps to the medical center to turn the stuff in, and hopefully, he turns over a new life. But we see how that plays off between this season. This is season three, episode six Rikers, a rehab of Black Ink Club. Tune in next week, see what happens. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.